What's up, bitches? This is Silent Rob, and I wanted to tell you guys a secret. You guys might not know this, and I'm sorry to be the one to always have to tell you guys these things, but in case you guys didn't know, Sonic the Hedgehog fucking sucks. I know you might be surprised, like, oh, really? I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, he fucking sucks. He sucks dick. And uh, he's pretty much been sucking dick since, like, 1994, 1995. So, you know, like, over about 15 years of sucking dick. I mean, this is like porn star territory. You be sucking that much dick, you know what I mean? I mean, uh, you used to be sucking 15 years of dick, man? That's, that's a shitload of dick to be sucking. And let me tell you right now, there's not very many game franchises that can suck repeatedly. Putting out game after game after game after game of shit and still somehow be even remotely relevant. Um, you know, say what you will about Mega Man and the fact that they don't make Mega Man games anymore, but at least there was some kind of consistency with these games. Yeah, most of the games were the same motherfucking game over and over again, but at least they were playable. Sonic 06 is not fucking playable, alright? And you guys might be making a case for, oh, Sonic Generations, Sonic Generations, okay, I don't even go fuck. The only reason Sonic Generations is good is because it uses assets from the older games. That's why that fucking game is good. Sonic Generations does not have an identity of its own, people. Let's be honest with ourselves here. Um, you want to talk about Sonic 4? You want to talk about Sonic 4? I don't really want to talk about Sonic 4, but I guess we could talk about Sonic 4. Sonic 4 doesn't just suck dick. Sonic 4 also sucks balls, sucks the air, it sucks fucking gooch, butthole, all the surrounding areas, all that shit, man. It's got it in its mouth. I gave Sonic 4 a fucking a shot, man. I bought episode 1. I bought episode 2. I bought episode 2 after reading the reviews that the fucking game was garbage. Okay? I read it. I was like, fuck it, man. I'm buying it. I have episode 1. I'm buying the motherfucker. I... <sighs> I just, I am in shock to how bad Sonic 4 is. When you follow up a game like Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles, which aren't my particular favorite Sonic games, my favorite Sonic game is Sonic 2. They pretty much could have stopped making them after that, but, you know, whatever, you know. But here's the thing that kills me. And what really kind of brings down the series is that a lot of the fans of Sonic games nowadays are little fucking kids. And most of these little kids don't know what the fuck Sonic is. They weren't there at the beginning, okay? They weren't there at the first fucking game like I was. They didn't fucking grow up with this series. They fucking played these half-assed fucking Sonic Adventure games and all oh, you... Sonic Adventure's good! Rob! I fucking trusted you, son, Rob! Sonic, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let me tell you, Sonic Adventure sucks. Alright, I'm sorry to tell you people, I have discussed this in past streams, but Sonic Adventure is not good times. Sonic Adventure has way too much fucking fluff in it. Way too much bullshit. You're not going fast enough in the game. It's called Sonic. You're Sonic the Hedgehog. You're supposed to be going fast. You're going through the loops and doing some shit. No, no I'm, a, I'm a fat cat with a fishing pole slowly fishing in a pond or something. You know, I'm, or I'm fucking out in a town talking to people and collecting things because that's what I think of when I think of Sonic. When I think of the good Sonic games, I think of slowly doing meandering fucking errands for people because that's good times. You know, I, I love doing that. And if you, in case you can't tell, that's, that's sarcasm. I, I actually fucking hate it quite a bit. And Sonic Adventure 2 is the same way. Some people are like, well, Sonic Adventure 2 is better. That's like saying, oh, this chunk of shit right here is better than this fucking pile of puke. I don't want either one of them around me. All right, clean them both up right now. All right, I'm not cleaning them. You can clean them. I don't want. I, I'm sick of it, people. You know, and I kind of got the inspiration to do this video after reading a comment on a, one of my previous videos from a person named Silver the Hedgehog ninety or some fucking shit. And I'm just like, I gotta talk about the series. I'm like, why would anybody name themselves S Silver out of all the characters? You know what I mean? I, I guess it's not. Big the Cat, or whatever his name is. Big the Cat 26,000, or whatever. And I guess that would be worse in some way. But what the fuck has Silver the Hedgehog done for me lately? Not a goddamn thing, man. Alright? 
Why uh, Sonic the Hedgehog has the series has always had a problem with adding in characters that don't fucking need to be there. It pretty much started with Sonic Two. You can make a case that Tails can go fuck himself, and uh, I'll say yeah, Tails can Tails can die in a fire for all I care. I, I would not shed a tear, but I can deal with Tails. Okay, but it's on the edge. I'm not happy about it. But he can. He's one of those. He's like the retarded friend that you hang out with just to make yourself feel better. That's Tails. Okay, he can tag along. But pretty much as soon as Sonic CD came out is when things started to go in the fucking shitter, okay? Now, all of a sudden, we got Amy. We got this fucking bitch that you gotta go and save. That's sort of his girlfriend, not really. I don't know, it's just some whore that wants his dick. And now we got put up with that, okay? So, okay, well, you know, that's already... I'm, I'm, about, I'm about sick of the whole fucking mess. I'm about sick of it. So then Sonic and Knuckles comes. And for some reason, people like Knuckles. I'm just like, why? Why? He's just, he's a red fucking Sonic the Hedgehog, basically, that floats around like a fuck. Alright? Oh, he's an echidna. He's an echidna, Rob. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay? Oh, well, he's an echidna. I, well, you know, I, he doesn't look like Sonic at all, right? He doesn't just look like a red Sonic. Whatsoever. You know, I mean, it's just on my imagination. I'm just, I'm, I'm losing my mind lately, you know. I just, I don't even know what's going on. I have never liked Knuckles. Well, I, I had Sonic and Knuckles, and I had Sonic 3 when I was a kid, and I never played as Knuckles. It is called Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm playing as Sonic. All right? I mean, even Sonic ain't that great of a fucking character, people, to be fucking blowing your loads all over your fucking face. And your fucking dicks fucking blowing loads. You're just, you're playing the game, and just there's loads all over your face. Just fucking, you can't even see. You can't even see the TV, because you're fucking just blowing loads in your own face and shit, playing the games. It's like, what the fuck, man? All right, I like Sonic 2. Sonic 2 is good times. I did a stream fairly recently playing this game. It is a classic. But it is the only one that I would deem as a classic. I have problems with pretty much all the rest of the games. Sonic 1 is too fucking slow. It's just too slow. It's not fast enough. It's the first game, so I'll give it a little bit of credit. Alright, whatever. It's playable. Sonic 2 perfected it. That's it. Alright? That's, that's as good as it gets. Top of the mountain. Alright? Sonic 3, fucking going back down the mountain, alright? Sonic 3 is not a complete game. You can't just play Sonic 3. What kind of retards out there are out there just playing Sonic 3? You're playing half of a fucking game. It's a waste of time. Even when I was a kid, it, when Sonic 3 came out, and it came out before Sonic and Knuckles, I played it and I was like, where's the rest of the game? You know what I mean? Like... What is this, like four fucking zones, man? This is some bullshit. I'm ripped off here, okay? I'm, I'm fucking, I'm a little kid, but I know what I'm getting fucked. Alright, so, and then Sonic and Knuckles. Sonic and Knuckles by itself is especially a terrible game. Um, it just, I, I don't know, man. Sonic 3 is decent, but then, like, Sonic and Knuckles just drops the ball. I, I just never liked pretty much any of the zones. The only zone that I really like in Sonic and Knuckles is, like, the Air Fortress one. Like, the second level. That's the only halfway decent zone, in my opinion. The rest of them are, like, just, like, one-act deals. And there's the Lava Reef, which is boring as shit. And then there's, like, the the clouds. You're on the clouds. And, you know, and then you're in the fucking fortress fucking flying around the tubes. And that fucking takes forever. So then you get in the tubes. It's like... Boo, 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 for fucking five minutes and shit. I'm just putting the controller down. I fucking... You know, jack off real quick or something. You know, whatever. Because I'm, I, you know, that's when I start started to take the control away from you was in those games basically. But you know, I was like, whatever. Next gen Sonic's gonna be good times. Then Sonic Adventure came. I never liked Sonic Adventure. I never liked Sonic Adventure two, and I explained why. Sonic 06 can go fuck itself sideways. All right. You want to talk about one of the worst games ever made? Sonic 06, dude. Oh my god. I was working at GameStop when Sonic 06 came out. I remember when that fucking game, when the demo came out, I put the demo in the system for the demo unit, and I was almost going to be like, I ain't even doing this. I'm not going to put people through this. I have to fucking play this disaster. I knew it was going to be a disaster before it even came out. I need to reread fucking reviews on that shit. And I didn't even play 360 back then. I played PS3 most of the time anyways. So I was like, when's the PS3 version? And the PS3 version came out, and it was like even worse than the 360 version. And I was just like, fuck Sonic. You know, I've been saying it for years, but fuck Sonic. 
the handheld games, and fucking Sonic Rush. I played most of the Sonic Rush games because my brother still buys those on, on like the handhelds and shit. And I don't think they're that. I never thought they were that impressive. They're all right. And I remember like a lot of the boss fights. You're like running the whole time, fucking, you know, during the boss fights, and the level designs don't seem that great. I don't know, man. <sighs> the spinoff game, Sonic Spinball. I like Sonic Spinball because of the soundtrack pretty much nothing else. It's a decent game, people, but come on. Come on. Sonic 3D Blast, I'm not even going to talk about Sonic... Fuck Sonic, that's all I'm going to say. Sonic 3D Blast, fuck that shit. And it just goes on and on. People love a series that has more misses than hits. You know what I mean? If this was a fucking... If this was a Major League Baseball player, this motherfucker would be benched. He'd be thrown out of the league, man. Give me a fucking break. Nobody wants this. Oh, man. I just had to get this off my chest. And I know there's other game franchises that kind of do this same thing. And I'm sure you guys will talk about it in the comments. But I'm so focused on Sonic right now, I can't fucking think of any of these motherfuckers. But I don't like them either, so fuck those too. But yeah, there's my Sonic rant. Um, maybe make another part if I come up with some more shit. But fuck Sonic, people. I mean, what are we still doing buying these games? If we keep buying them, Sega's going to keep making them. Sega, Sega has plenty of other fucking franchises that they need to finish. Is Shinmu ever going to get done? No? Is it Alright, whatever. You know, fucking hell. I, I'll put out a Sonic game. It's been 15 minutes and put out another fucking Sonic game. Fuck. <laughs>